going in, we're off to get the uh, water taxi into uh, Rotterdam itself. Right, Kinder Jig, there's your uh, toilets and showers. They are shared, as it says there. The uh, chemical toilet around there. You've got water, grey waste. And obviously, as it quite clearly states there, 18 euros for 24 hours. We've got no complaints. Catch you later. So this is us just down at the uh, marina heading to go and get the uh, water taxi a fast boat into Rotterdam it's also where the cycle route for the Kinderjik um, windmills passes through basically come down here over a little bridge there and then follow it along the side of the canal catch you in a bit so that's it we made it down to the water bus or water taxi whatever you want to call it um, just going down now It's in, uh, the next one's in 20 minutes, I think. I know. Catch you there. And a big boat going by. This ain't no slow bus. Looks like they found Noah's boat. So I think we're just coming into our destination now, so catch you in uh, Rotterdam. So we got off the water bus, water taxi, and then just walked straight down and walked down here. We're not really sure where we're going, we're just going to follow our nose. Um, we went and had breakfast there in the Bagel Bakery. Very lovely breakfast. Bagels with whatever you really want. But anyhow. Uh, going to the tourist information now and then I think we're going to go and have a look at these cube houses and the market is definitely on our list to do but anyhow, catch you in a bit rather bizarre to say the least so that's a food hall I believe which we're going to go and visit in a minute but uh, check these houses out here Some amazing buildings around here. These were built for space saving apparently. But we'll go in and have a look. And that house there, number 70, is open. Just waiting to uh, to go in and see inside this one because there's a uh, a lot of people there. So this is us going up into the house itself. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
kitchen table. Compact kitchen. Views down onto the street. And more stairs up. Well designed. That's a bathroom. And up again. This must be up into the living room. So this is just from the edge of the cube houses itself. So it's been in the cube houses. What we're going to do now is going to head over to the, the big hall itself. Um, catch you in a bit. So we're just going to go into the market hall now. Um, although there's a market out here. I believe this one's mainly a food hall, but we'll see when we get in. Catch you in there. I think you can find most things to eat in here. Even a TGI Fridays. Nuts. Cheese. Fish and chips. Yeah, I think you'll find whatever you want to eat in here. Catch in a bit. So, so it was quite thirsty work walking around the uh, market. So. Decided to stop off and get some hydration. Check that ceiling out. Do 
you get everything here in the market, it is absolutely jumping. Even genuine fake watches. Fruit. So we've just walked away from the hustle and bustle of the market and we're now at this uh, Lawrence Kirk of Rotterdam with the bells chiming away. Again, it's another cracking day. Can't complain about the weather. I think maybe we should have done a couple of nights um, for discovery of here. Because I don't even think we're going to touch the surface again, but we've already done, well, this will be our second night tonight. And we need to move on to Delft tomorrow um, and then Den Haag. So, yeah, amazing. So just stepping back from the uh, kirk itself um, and come across this waterway. Not seen many waterways whilst we've been in uh, the Netherlands. Quite popular really, the waterways. I think I'm gonna have to go for some more hydration soon, this weather. Unbelievable. Considering it's the 7th of October, and uh, by the way, happy birthday, son. So that's the uh, the outside of the the market itself, the food hall. Obviously, you can see there's still a lot of construction going on within Rotterdam itself, keeping things going. Imagine living on the outside of that sort of uh, food hall. But what an amazing place around here. This is obviously the uh, all the fabric part of the market itself going all the way up, just all right at the top there, and all the way down to the traffic lights at the bottom. Oops, sorry. All the way down to the traffic lights at the bottom. We seem to have the, the market set out in different areas. Um, I think one of the worst parts of the market to go through was the fish market. Absolutely stinking, but hey ho. And as you can see there, it says the World Trade Center at Rotterdam. It is absolutely heaving round here. It's nice in the summer to keep cool. to 1945. That's an impressive building as well. So I don't know if you can actually see them, the uh, bullet holes themselves, um, right along, along the front there, um, along the lower part of the windows. all the reminders of the Second World War. <laughs> Bizarre looking sculptures. The great big arms that they use to take off uh, containers. 
another wonky looking building. Bizarre seats. So from another angle of the uh, central station itself, you see the, the two towers there with a the gap between it. From over the other side, it looks as though it was just one building, but obviously it's not. Anyhow, catching a bit. Just been walking down to parts of Rotterdam. Some of it was a little bit sort of um, looked a bit dodgy. This part seems okay. A little bit old. Somebody over there fixing a the tyre on the bike. The old tramp. So this is the uh, radio tower in Rotterdam. I don't know if you can see. A couple of people have sailing off the top. And then right at the top there's like a revolving platform going all the way to the top of the mast. I don't know if you can actually see, but there's actually three people up sailing down. Two together on the right hand side, and one by himself or herself on the left. So there's a Piece be a cruise liner, big wheel behind it. We're just heading back towards the uh, water bus. Talking of water buses, look at this one. Looks like it's going through a flood. Check this out. I don't know if you can see but these seats are made out of old wings, is it from the, I don't know, is it ones that have been used on uh, wind machines or wind turbines, the old tramp. by Rotterdam till the next time so I found out that Noah's Ark was uh, built by a bit of an eccentric bloke who thought the world was going to come to an end and he was going to be the new Noah there is no animals actually on the boat itself. The giraffe you see at the front is uh, just a model. It's not the real thing. So don't worry, don't panic. This uh, still aside, this row of houses here. That's where all the uh, the windmills of Kinderjik are. Probably won't be able to see them. Um, Accident where I am. Just the top of the sails. Um, but yeah, that's where we were yesterday. Um, so just heading back now and then tomorrow morning on to Delft and then uh, Den Haag and unfortunately back to Scotland. Catching a bit.